Hi, here's a short video uh, from this early morning testing an idea that I just had. So in my uh, previous knowledge work, I had a concept of emerging concepts. And I was basically tagging things that I thought uh, would be things that I could think about further. Um, some of these have also some content on them. Uh, some of these are just kind of inboxes for uh, different links. You see some of them have a lot of links, some of them have very few. Um, and these are things that I would like to keep thinking about and keep generating ideas about. Maybe it's something I would eventually want to write about. Maybe it's something I would eventually like to understand more deeply. Uh, but of course, oftentimes these kind of get left alone and rot. So how can we uh, use Tana and use GPT to help us do that. So I made a new tag, idea collision, and you see that the moment I apply this tag to an empty node, what it actually does is it grabs three random concepts, uh, three, just three random concepts from this tag. See how we set it up here? Um, it's a field type of instance. It has the instance super tag emerging concept, and I just say I want three random nodes. And of course, already having those, for example, on your day tag could be enough to prompt you to open them. And you see none of these actually have uh, content, but um, if we zoom in on them, we can see that there's um, there are links here uh, that might be interesting. Um, let me see, I'm gonna try one more because none of these have actually any content on them. here one of them actually has a bunch of, of nodes that I've taken so that's the first thing we can do is just generate this node in general um, but then I set up three fields here um, how are these connected um, counter claims I don't know if that's a good term but kind of what are arguments against these ideas in what cases would these not hold because I, I was trying to follow Andy Matushak's idea of having the title not just be a topic but be kind of a statement which you know or or concrete idea uh, could be a question um, and then you know basically if we want to make progress on this idea what are the questions that we should be asking ourselves and answering um, so I wrote up three um, GPT prompts and basically what I'm doing now is I'm running them in parallel I am sending the full contents of these notes so in case in this case it's the contents of the adult book club and just the titles here and I'm, I've got three different prompts asking it to actually write a mini essay about the connections, um, generate some counterclaims, and generate some questions. Um, this will take a while because I'm using GPT-4, um, but luckily I'm running them in parallel, which uh, obviously makes it more efficient. And uh, obviously these uh, prompts can also be tweaked quite a bit, uh, but the idea would be to have something that can kind of not solve or answer uh, you know the questions you have but rather help um, kind of be an inspiration uh, trigger uh, the, the urge to write to respond um, to further develop these and uh, so let's see here's some questions about being an embedded now as you see being an embedded researcher here um, it has no contents so these questions you know, they might still be very useful for me to um, to go further down, but they're very generic. They're very typically GPT, you know, given uh, just the title, what can you come up with? Um, what would be more interesting, actually, is if I could feed it uh, the links to this note. And if I had a specific note, I could definitely do that. I'm not sure if there's a way for me to um, do that with a list of links but I'm gonna look into that uh, but here it's interesting for uh, the connections I thought about this idea of having GPT do some thinking before it writes so I asked it first come up with an outline and so it's uh, kind of generate an outline and then write a small essay and uh, based on and here you see it's it's actually looking at the contents here as well um, so it's included peer-to-peer -peer learning um, and 
now. This is this is pretty cool, right? Because this is um, connecting things that I'm really interested in. It's you know peer-to-peer -peer university model was not is buried in here, and it took that out. And it's obviously something I'm interested in. And so the idea is not for me to take this and, and go publish it on the web, but um, reading this might trigger new ideas. And so I'm kind of having a conversation uh, with my own notes. Um, anyway, this was a fun little experiment. Could obviously be taken much further, um, but I'd be curious to see how this can work for you, depending on how you organize your own notes.